Okay, so this is a mock-up of the first axes of the DC motor and encoder um, rep scrap or rep trap or whatever they want to call it. Um, basically this is the x-axis that will manage the table moving back and forth and there will be pictures on my blog as well but there's the original print head um, sorry print carrier and then the belt and if you can see it there I don't know if you can see it there's a film linear encoder tape okay and over here in true style of the project um, this is the Adafruit motor controller that I took out of my first robot so this was scrap basically sitting around it's uh, two dual H bridges on there uh, it's capable of running two stepper motors or a stepper motor and two DC motors or four DC motors whatever anyway I'm going to be using it to run the uh, X and Y axes DC motors and then over here we've got a Pro Mini that's going to run this whole thing so uh, both X and Y axes are running off of here and at 0 0.002 millimeter resolution uh, about 20 centimeters per second for one axis it's running you know somewhere in about 15% uh, utilization on that uh, on that Arduino it's got a lot of room left what we're going to run out of is uh, hardware pins so uh, to do quadrature properly you need two interrupt pins per uh, axis I'm currently cheating and doing one hardware uh, interrupt and then a second pin to, to test its state. So that's only giving me basically half the resolution that I need. Uh, to get the full resolution, I'm going to have to use pin change interrupts, which are a little slower. Uh, but anyway, there's, there's enough room in this uh, Pro Mini, so I'm not overly worried about that. I'm only doing two axes. So anyway. I'm going to plug it in. Um, the code's sitting up on my uh, blog as well. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm reading the encoder and I'm running this back and forth, generating a random number and seeking to that position. So, across the was it 13 inch travel uh, from from the right all the way over to the left. It's 13 inches of travel. There's 3,800 stops on that encoder strip. And uh, so I'm just basically picking random numbers between uh, 200 and 3600 so I leave a little room on the ends so I don't go crashing into the ends because this other wire here is for my end stop. It's not hooked up yet. So there's a uh, photo interrupter around the end here. See down here? There's a photo interrupter there that's uh, intended to basically be uh, an end stop. But Anyway, um, I'm faking it out by uh, keeping 200 on each end free so it doesn't go crashing into the ends. So I'm going to plug in the power. Hang on a second. And okay, my apologies, I didn't have the uh, USB FTDI hooked up so there was no power to the Arduino. So let's try this again. Plug in power into the motor controller and we just start randomly selecting positions and it'll do this forever because it's just in a constant loop but uh, basically I'm using the Arduino map function to uh, take a look at the delta from the location where it currently is to where it needs to go and then mapping the speed so that it uh, decelerates before hitting target so it doesn't overrun but anyway Again, it's just a plain old DC motor running the carriage and uh, you can't really see the encoder strip there too well but it's there. 
Okay, thank you for watching. And hopefully the next video will have Xan.